for with her on-stage presence. She is a walling character. And now we are starting game one here on Smashville, a stage that I believe is a bit more favorable towards Keith. However, I think Villager does lose this matchup simply because Rosalina has one move called Gravity Ball as demonstrated there, which can pull in all the projectiles. And here we see the classic walling action coming in from Tatamon, jabbing his way or trying to defend himself from the opponent's of offense purely by jabbing. What a, that was a very nice confirm that Nair into the grab. Very well done by Tatamon. However, Keys trying to break that zone here. Successfully does so. Lands a few aerials, but not anything too crazy. And it's always a struggle to... <laughs> wow, that was a very good air industry. It is always a struggle to get through Rosa's defenses. However, he is trying to do so by rolling and jumping and just overall mixing his game up. And that, that was one very special and very... <laughs> scary and threatening thing that Villager can do. You saw the bowling ball there. It is capable of actually flying a bit below the ledge, thus uh, hitting opponents while they are recovering. And as previously mentioned, Rosa's recovery is not the best in the game. So that can be very threatening to Tatamon. Oh, uh, there's just some neutral play here. He grabs him, throws him off stage. Fairly standard course of action. However, Rosa does have a 50-50 uh, mix-up with her throw, where she can either forward throw and down throw. It. And depending on your DI, she might get a follow-up or not. Uh, but he's made it safely back and now throws Tatamon off stage. Charging that bowling ball, but the rocket was there to catch the jump. However, Tatamon very wisely goes over Keys' offense. A uh, very smart thing to do, if you ask me. However, he should be careful, because if Keys um, picks up on this, he can punish it even harder than that bowling ball. He can just charge an up smash on where she's going to land, and that will be the stock. However, that will <laughs> what also will be the stock is that back throw of a villager. A very strong throw, one of the best in the game. Uh, however, villager's grab is not the best. It is fairly slow, so it's pretty impressive that he manages managed to get that. However, we're going to see that down there. I was I was thinking that Tatamon was going for that because Village is also not that good at recovering when it comes to being vulnerable. He's very vulnerable. He doesn't have a hitbox on his recovery. But his recovery does go very far, so in that regard, it is pretty good. However, Rosa likes keeping her opponent in the air, and that's exactly what Tatamon is intent on doing. Keeps him at the ledge, throws him back up again, <laughs> and keeps getting away with some some of these air dodges. I mean, it's always a tough cooking when you're up against Rosa. That is for sure. He hit him a forward smash on the air dodge, throwing him back off stage, and he defends himself by shooting those little pellets. Very smart. However, now he will have to be careful. He goes all the way across the stage. And that's what I meant with how far the recovery can go. So in that regard, it is good. It's just a bit vulnerable, that is all. And he grabs him again on the roll, and this is just what makes Rosa so difficult to play against. Her walling capabilities are the best in the game, and man, Keith just could not get back on stage after that first stop. And we see him thinking there. He really needs to think over what he did wrong that last stock in regard to this, the first stock. Or maybe it was just Tatamon's adaptation that was better. Are we going to Battlefield? We are going to Battlefield. Now this is a pretty classic counterpick against Rosa, purely because Battlefield has a higher ceiling. And knowing Rosalina, she always wants to kill off the top. See the more patient neutral again. Him just trying to wall Rosa out with projectiles a bit and trying to get in somewhat, whereas Rosa is just purely walling and destroying the projectiles with her gravity pool. And that down smash by Rosaline is something that uh, Tatamon is particularly fond of. I don't see many other Rosas do it as often as he does, but it is certainly effective. Now, this is looking like the second stock for Keys on that first game, because he just does not get back on stage once he <laughs> once he's pulled, uh, thrown off. I mean, already 90% off on him, and that was just because he got off stage once, and it just keeps on going. But there he is, but no, never mind. He rolls back into Tartamon's clutches. 
that one really just keeping the pressure and the walling there on the ledge. Seems like Villager really has a rough time in this matchup. And that up smash with not the optimal DI will definitely kill, even though this is Battlefield. And that is almost, almost a lap. Yeah, there we go. Tatamon has lapped keys in percent. And this is looking very grim. Keys will have to pull quite something out of his hat in order to uh, still take this game. But however, he might be able to do it. There we go. He had a, a, a small offensive string there, but Tatsumon just keeps on walling him out. There's a down throw mix-up, and the down air kills! Wow! <laughs> Alright, that was... Ooh, that was a strong move, and Tatsumon takes it 2-0 over Keith.